What is up, Insomniacs? We are back uh, with episode 24 of Detroit Become Human. Sorry, I wanted to listen. The assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Uh, hacking Deviant Madam Leader. President. Let's go with the Deviant Please. Leader. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. Mm -hmm. The situation is under control. Sure about that? Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Please! Uh, Please? That's for the deviants again? Is it again? true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Can assure Thank you. you. That will be all. Oh, really? I was hoping I could ask more stuff. Why can't I ask everything? I want to ask everything. Oh, God. Let's go see our second grave, I guess. But yeah, we're back here with episode 24, and uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Yes, there is indeed two. Yep, Mark 1 and Mark 2 he died at Woodward Church. So we know where he died, which means that we know where the deviants are. Ooh. I guess I can't walk out on the frozen lake again. Huh? It's still a very pretty garden. And up we go. I don't know what that scanny thing does over there. I've quote unquote inspected it twice and never has it uh, shown to do anything. The deviant leader has started a peaceful march. He wants to convince humans to free the androids from the camps. You have to find it, Connor. Find it and destroy it with your own hands. So she's still betrayed even though I'm a new Connor? the bus terminal the last bus leaves in 20 minutes that doesn't give us much time we've got to move fast where's Luther well wait, 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 why are we talking are you all right I mean I know I clicked talk but I'm really cold the activator the bomb I'm gonna deactivate your hot and cold sensitivity You'll feel better now. Thanks. You're an android. You shouldn't have to be cool. Duh.
Okay. Can I take the gun? I want to take the gun. Yes. It's mine. For safety, obviously. Put it away before people see you. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's not stay here. We have less than 20 minutes. We're trying to get to. Look over there. It's closer. What? We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave him. They're going to kill him. Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta do this to me? Put Alice under the car. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got order to check all civilians. No, no, please. Jesus. Fucking androids. There you go. Yeah, put her under the car. Stay there, kid. Alright. I have a weapon. Oh, a silent weapon. Let's go. You should have risked your life. Let's go. Me. Come on. Gotta Who's go, that? big man. She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Come on, come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. No time for reunions. Oh my god, come on. I wanted to meet you at the terminal. Come on. But they caught me along the way. Come on. We gotta go. We're close, but we don't have much. We gotta go. there.
a checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Checkpoint risky. How much time do we have? Nine minutes? So that's 11 minutes. So we're going to miss the bus. We have to take the checkpoint. Or we're going to miss it. Got to do it. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. Mm -hmm. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Alice, excuse, curfew, car broke down. We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Maybe. Be ready. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? Sick. Yeah. She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, come on. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. Do nothing. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my God. Oh, man. We're coming to you live from wow. Detroit, where thousands of Detroit ah! are marching to the city at this very <laughs> moment. Ah, here we go. The deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Marcus is going to die here. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Marcus is going to die. He's out in the open and... Shot. Do I get to chant anything again? Towards the camp and convince the humans. Okay. Yeah, that's that's not too hard. Yeah, that's fine. We can do it. I still have that detonator in my pocket, right? In case shit goes south. Here we are. The moment of truth. Peaceful. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. Mm. There's no turning back now. No, there's not. Firm. 
We are here to demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps across the country. We are not leaving until our people are free. Oh, we're supposed to be walking. I was like, what's going on? No! Sit, raise hands, raise hands. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? You already did. Those are all the news crews. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Mm. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? Great question. We hold out. As long as we can. Hmm. As much as I hate that we got our own people shot, I think, uh, I think that's the right decision. Vantage point. Am I a freaking contract killer now? Am I gonna snipe his ass? What if I don't want to? Oh man. Please let me go deviant again. I'm telling you now, if we have to kill Marcus and we end up taking over as like North is, is the leader or something like that of Jericho, I'm going to bomb the place and I'm going to go with like full ape shit on the humans. If it makes me, if it makes me kill Marcus, then we're going for violence. This, Lieutenant. Turn him. It's none of your business. If you're going to kill a man who wants to be free. That is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Evian's blood may be a different color than mine. They're alive. Friendly, aggressive, reasonable, threatening. Reasonable. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. We're friendly. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Step away from the ledge. this at all after all we've been through I respected you Hank I thought we were friends oh uh, yeah I was just starting to like you too but then I realized you never change I did change and then you I don't died feel emotions Connie you fake them you pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word thanks son I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. The truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no mm. human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? 
No. This is not how I was expecting things to go. Because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the humans' fault. Him in this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Hmm. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. Oh, so he does know that you died and came back. I'd have done anything to bring him back too, to hold him in my arms just one more time. The humans don't come back, do they? I'm gonna leave. Killing you is not part of my mission. I do met you, Hank. I hope one day you can get over what happened to your son. Damn. Come on, Hank. What are you gonna do? I was really thinking that Hank may be the one to uh, help turn. Connor 3.0 into a DZ. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. Find a way to leave. If you tickets, they won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Fine tickets, huh? Please don't move. Morning guards are close. Thank you. Marcus. Security check. Can I see your ID, please? ID, yes, yes, of course. Diversion on way through. Okay, I'm gonna show them the IDs. What? No! You gotta be kidding me! All that freaking effort? For what? How was I supposed to avoid that? Do I just like walk away from the guards or something? Hey, help me! What the hell? Uh. Bro, I'm sorry. I need to. I need to. I need a second. Did they just get shot? Did all three of them just freaking die after everything that we we have worked through in this freaking game? Are you kidding me? We were at the damn bus station. They were almost freaking free. No, man. No freaking way.
I'm 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 at a loss for words here. I don't I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. That that was so fast. Right, it was so it. just instantly over. There was no no nothing. No no ability to to do anything with that. Easy decision to make. It wouldn't let us rush the guards. It wouldn't let us do. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Prisoners, quality, alive, free, real free. Slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. We could blow up a bomb. Not that that would solve anything, but we could do it. Look her up. Uh, we'll go with that. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Mm. I like your jacket. some shit up yet. Okay. It won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Resisting arrest. Marcus! Marcus, come look! What do you mean? 
Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try anything. Don't go. Sure about that? It's a trap. I still Don't haven't checked on my people yet. Don't go, Marcus. You look cold. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? Keep doing what we're doing. And that's a chance I'll have to take. Man, I didn't get to do all the other stuff. I really... Oh man, this is bullshit. I still had other things I wanted to do. I haven't checked on my people yet. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Kill everybody anyways? Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Sure about that? Other demonstrations? What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Guarantee. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. Do you? That android. You seem to really care about her. Yeah, now he's threatening me. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. Mm. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. Once again, with this B and A thing, that they're messing me up. I hate to do this. But we're I'd refusing. I'd die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. I still have a bomb. Don't you forget that. I'm not afraid to use it. Check on my people now. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? We're all gonna die, everybody for themselves. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh, there it is. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviant's demonstration by force this time. Not okay, man. North! No. So messed up. So messed up. 
messed up. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I don't know, I don't know what the heck we're supposed to do now. We gotta do something. Damn. This dude's cool as shit! What a freaking guy. I really want to blow up some shit. Can't do it. Can't do it. Kissing as they are about to die has moved the whole country. No are they a form of life that we didn't want to acknowledge? Are deviants capable of emotion? And if they feel emotions, must we now consider them as living beings in their own right? No President shit. Warren is said to have intervened personally to spare the androids. The peaceful demonstration of the deviants and the dignity of Marcus, their leader, has won them sympathy from parts of the population. That is why I have for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered a Senate Select Committee to review the facts, establish contact with the Deviants, and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life. We did it. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. I'm confused why there's so many we white... We suffered in silence. Yes. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. No, 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 Connor. We're a nation. Connor. A nation that has earned the right to live. Come on, man. No, no, hell no. Today, today begins the most challenging moment in Hell no. I'm not gonna fucking shoot him. Is this inside his arm? Connor! What are you doing? Obey, that's an order! I can't do that! I see. Moral objections. We knew there was a risk you'd be compromised. Which is why we'd always planned on resuming control of your program. No, 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 Resume no, no, control? no, no, no. You can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. I like how the blizzard is, gets worse regrets. every single time. The weather seems to you get did worse every time I meet this girl. To do. You accomplished your mission. No. No. So it's not in this head? Way. There's got to be a way. Oh, oh. Oh. Where's that thing? Where's the where, Where's the thing? Where's the the the, the scanny thing? That I didn't know what the fuck it was. 
Okay, well, there's a thing over here. That's it! Yes! We know what it is! Hell yeah! Come on. Tell humans who come on, come really on, come are. on, come on. Tell them that we are people too! Come on, come on. We gotta stop this crap. Come on, Connor. Come on, Connor. Put your hand on it. Put your hand on it. We're enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. Is that really the end? No way. What? Huh. Well, my dudes, um, I will say that that was not the best that uh, that could have happened, you know, in this game. There's there's things that I uh, talked about throughout that I would definitely have changed my uh, thoughts and my opinions had I had more information to go off of. But I mean, that's the point of these game of this game, you know. And, and you can't. Sometimes you just got to go on whim, just just make a decision, and it may not be the right one. You know, I'm I'm really upset that I got. Kara, Alice, and Luther all killed, but I, I wasn't really sure what else to do. You know, I wasn't expecting if I showed him my passports and I stayed peaceful with the guy, you know, maybe he would have let me go like the previous guy did. But, I mean, at the same time, I didn't have the option to do anything, so the, maybe the game wasn't going to let me escape anyways with him. Uh, it may have been like a misleading or a, a false hope kind of thing. Um, wow. Wow. What a crazy game, guys. I gotta tell you, this this was absolutely incredible. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was very stressful. Um, it got the heart rate going. It got me sweating like crazy. You know, very stressed out in times because, you know, I, I want an outcome to, to be a certain way, and, and sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Um, I am going to have to go back through and maybe replay uh, some missions at some point so I can see, you know, some of the different outcomes, uh, maybe have a little bit of fun with it, maybe do some of the, the bad outcomes and, 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 you know, shoot people and blow up the bombs, and I don't know, I kind of want to see all the outcomes, but, you know, uh, at the same time, there's a, a lot of YouTubers out there that have already gone through and, and, and played all the, the different outcomes, and you guys could, you know, very easily go watch them, um, as well, and I can just leave this series as its own opinion, opinion base, you know, or not opinion, um, you know, just a, a portrayal of, of what I would have done. So, if you guys uh, want to, you know, drop some comments on, on this video, uh, let me know if you want me to post some of these alternate um, outcomes, and, uh, you know, I'll do that. Otherwise, I think I'm probably just going to leave it as, as is. 
you know, because this was the, the, the decision path that I made to get here, and I, I gotta stand by that. Um, I was expecting to uh, have Carl's son come back into it, which he did, right? He, he had a brief appearance, um, but I'm wondering if I had said some different things at Carl's grave, if his son would have showed up and we would have had some other altercations uh, between him and Marcus. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I did not mean to, sh to, to shoot Connor. Um, I think that that really hampered some things. Um, I don't know, there's just mistakes made throughout, but this game did such a great job um, when it comes to, you know, working, working through, I, I, just the speed at which you, some of these options had to be, some of these decisions had to be made is, is you know, kind of adds that pressure um, for you to just make a decision. And, and when you don't have time to think about it, it's hard to, to weigh all the options and see if it's the right decision or not. So I, I've really, I really enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. You know, I hope you had some fun with it. And, uh, you know, maybe you want to go out and try it yourself and see where you're going to end up with it too, you know what I mean? But, uh, man, and, and the graphics in this game, just absolutely incredible. So pretty. The, the weather, the colors, the fluttering of leaves, the, the, the flowing of, of shirts and all that sort of stuff from civilians walking down the street, you know, raindrops, the snow resting on their shoulders uh, when it was snowing, just everything, you know, uh, the water, it's so difficult to animate water, but they, the game developers did such a great job with that because the water looked incredible, um, it's just, it's amazing, uh, it's a very well done game, and I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry to you guys that this episode is like three times as long as every single other episode, but it is the finale, you know, so have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, I won't continue to talk your ear off. I'm just going to kind of let the, uh, whatchamacallit, the credits kind of roll here, and uh, I'm assuming that they're almost done. But uh, once the credits are done, then it'll be the end of the episode. Um,. Yeah, I don't know. I would just kind of, kind of awkwardly sit here and stare at each other. My cats are passed out, or I would uh, bring one of them over and introduce them to you guys so that you can see them. They're so cute, sitting on their little cat tree. Um, yeah, let me let me know what you guys want to see next uh, in terms of games. I, I forget the name of the game developer, uh, but there is another game that was highly recommended to me uh, if I enjoy it if I enjoyed uh, Detroit Become Human, and it's called uh, something rain? Hard rain? High rain? I don't know. Some, I, have it, uh, I have it saved, but uh, apparently that one's even more intense. It's the same like story-based, you know, choose-your-own-adventure type of thing, um, but allegedly it's got more extreme consequences for the choices that you make. So at some point I might pop on and uh, do that one, because I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, and then, of course, we have our Horizon Zero Dawn um, playthrough, campaign playthrough that's going to come out at some point. Episode 1 came out last December, a long time ago, or November, or something like that. But it was right before Halo Infinite was released, and so I kind of, you know, I, I wouldn't have released that had I known that the campaign for Halo Infinite was going to be released, like, a few days later. Uh, but it's out, so I'm probably going to... Uh, restart that series from the beginning. Uh, so we have the Horizon Zero Dawn series that's going to be coming. And then, um, yeah, uh, other than that, you know, uh, I'm going to be wanting to get in and play uh, Subnautica, Subnautica Below Zero, both outstanding games. Uh, I've already played through Subnautica. I haven't played through all of Sub-Zero. I only played it when it was in beta. But uh, those are a couple others that I'm going to be wanting to get into. Um, of course, I've already played three... Two. two of the Halo games on uh, my channel here, uh, two of the campaigns, and I want to go through all of them eventually. Um, so yeah, just just let me know, you know, if you guys have a specific game that you're wanting to see, um, so I can get it going. There's some other games that came out a long time ago um, that I've been wanting to play back through, you know, old PS2 games and, and all that sort of stuff, uh, which I just think would be a lot of fun. Oh, and then another one, uh, it's been out for a long time. 
what I've been wanting to do a series on is uh, the Kerbal Space Program, you know, especially with like Artemis 1 and um, all the soon to be space advancements that uh, we're looking at making. I don't know if you guys have looked into that at all, uh, but we're looking at doing with going to the moon and setting up a moon base and learning how to live in space so we can travel to Mars. Um, so I'm thinking a Kerbal Space Program episode, or not episode, but uh, might be a fun one to go. All right, now that we got this, oh no, I got I gotta see how many options that I had. Son of a gun, this is the worst. Come on, come on, okay. All right, so Battle for Detroit. This is Connor's last mission. Yet yeah, we went up to the rooftop, and Hank intervenes. We talked to him, and then we ended up not shooting. Yep. Could have shot. Didn't want to. Um, ooh, man, I guess we would have had a very different car leaving Detroit. What? Oh, sorry. Connor at Cyber Life Tower. I, I guess I completely didn't uh, have the option to do any of this. That's unfortunate. And then this crap. I'm so upset. I am I am so upset. Security checkpoint. Yeah, we went through the checkpoint. We did all that stuff. We got to the terminal, and we were looking around. We had the security check, and it looks to be that we had. Uh, yeah, there was only only two options: soldiers execute them, and and whatever this extra one is, which also ends, which means that they probably got killed. So, I don't know how we would have avoided that. I mean, I guess if we just stayed away from them. I'm so upset. Yeah, I'm going to have to play through this on my own time to see if I can't save those two because that that is really Those were the those were the the three characters that I was like emotionally involved in. Everybody else like, yeah, I was I was down for the cause, you know, I was uh fully supportive for the android movement and all that sort of stuff, you know, and I wanted them to to develop or get their freedom and and you know, I was I was all for that and I was going to you know, work towards that obviously. Um but I was I was really like wanting these three to be able to to escape and and get out, you know, like I don't know, it's just there's anyways. We're almost at an hour, guys. Um, I really hope you have enjoyed. And uh, if you have, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next game, I guess. Catch you guys later. Midnight Sun out.